If you're a first time dad or mom and you're getting prepared to welcome your child into the world, listen up. I've got some hacks that I wish I knew about the hospital the first time around. Hey everyone, my name is Zach. I'm a videographer and pastor, but more importantly than that, I'm a husband and a father. And about five weeks ago now, my wife and I welcomed our son Milo into the world. It was an amazing and a little bit of a stressful experience, like I'm sure all birth experiences are. And that's the thing, those first few days in the hospital with your newborn can be a little stressful and overwhelming if you aren't prepared. So I thought I would give you some of the best hacks and tips for making your hospital birth a little bit nicer for you and for your wife. So first things first, my biggest tip and the one that I tell everyone about when they're getting ready to have a child at a hospital is to ask the staff if there's a room with a birth tub. Now, not all hospitals have this, but some do offer a few rooms with birth tubs. Many women like to labor in the tub. Something about the water can be relaxing and soothing. And plus there's the added benefit that these rooms are usually a lot bigger than the rooms without tubs. We had a birth tub the first time around with my daughter uh, and my wife didn't really expect to use it too much. She got to use it a little bit. Um, honestly, she was in the shower more than she was in the hospital tub but it was a huge blessing to have a room that was just bigger. It was so much more roomy. We, had a, we were able to have more people in the room uh, and it didn't feel crowded throughout the birth process. So that's the biggest tip. Ask for a room uh, that has the tub. Now, if you're gonna ask for the room and not use the tub, that's kind of like, don't, don't do that because there are people who do wanna use the tub. But if you wanna use the tub and you want that extra space, make sure you ask the staff for the tub room. My next tip is there are certain items that I recommend you bring with you to the hospital for different reasons. I've got a whole video uh, about my hospital bag and what I brought with me that you can check out, but my biggest suggestion is to bring your own comforts from home, like your own pillow, your own blanket, because at least at our hospital, the pillows and the blankets for dads were less than nice. Also, bring your own basic medicine so you don't get charged by the hospital uh, for like ibuprofen if the hospitals allow you to do that. Along with that, a few items I'd recommend bringing for the postpartum stay, uh, bring a little nightlight and a sound machine for the middle of the night feedings. It's so nice when your wife doesn't have to turn on all of those hospital lights. And yes, dads, this sounds a little bit selfish of a tip, but really it does help baby too to not have all those bright lights come on uh, and just have a gentle, soft light. But yeah, it is kind of nice for us dads too. Another tip for the postpartum stay is bring stuff to entertain yourself and your wife. You're gonna be there for a couple of days and it can get a little boring if I'm honest. So bring a book or your iPad loaded with a few shows. Most rooms have TVs where you can plug a fire stick or an HDMI cable in. Uh, my wife and I just shared her hospital bed and watched a cooking show on Netflix to relax. Now you're probably gonna have a lot of visitors coming in to check on mom and baby throughout your stay. The first time around that we had a kid, uh, there was one specific time where someone came in and asked me a specific dad question. And it was, do I know how to change a diaper and do I know how to swaddle a baby? Thankfully, I was able to say yes because I had practiced before my daughter was born on stuffed animals. Uh, and honestly, I had to do a bit of a refresher course before Milo was born with the whole swaddling, but it just felt good to be able to say yes to those questions. I'm sure most hospital staff aren't going to make you feel bad if you've never done those things, but as a dad, it feels good to be prepared when they ask you those questions. So practice beforehand if you don't know how, watch a couple YouTube videos, things like that. My last postpartum tip may not apply to everyone, but when our daughter was born, her and my wife struggled with breastfeeding. Mia just wasn't really latching well. Emma's milk took a little bit longer to come in. Uh, and so because of that, we actually had to use donor milk, which is fine. It's not a big deal. There's nothing wrong with it. The only downside was that we were using uh, the donor milk from the hospital's milk bank. And so it cost a little bit of money. And I completely forgot that in our birthing classes, we were told about Facebook groups where you can get free milk from other moms in the community who are able to pump more than their babies need. Now, as long as you know the mom, you know the milk, where it's coming from, you know everything is good with her health, uh, there isn't much to worry about and hopefully it's only for a few days. Anyways, this time around, I was ready to jump on the Facebook group for milk if we needed it instead of paying for the hospital's milk because that stuff really adds up. All right. Now, as you're getting ready to leave the hospital, I've got 
two final tips. First, take everything in the room home with you. The hospital provides tons of stuff with you to take home. Diapers, wipes, swaddles. I think my wife even got a fan the first time around. There's hats, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the thing is, you're actually paying for this stuff on the hospital bill, so you might as well take it with you. And if you're bold enough to ask the nurse for a little extra, then ask for a little extra. The final tip is to have your car seat installed before you even get to the hospital. In order for you to leave the hospital, nurses have to check that baby is first snugly in the car seat, snugly, the baby is first snugly in the car seat, and that the car seat base is properly installed. You don't wanna be the guy struggling to figure out how to put the car seat together while the nurse is waiting on you. So just do that in advance. All right, so those are all my tips and hacks for hospital birth. Hopefully they've been helpful for you, and I hope and pray that your birth process is smooth uh, and just what you and your wife are hoping for. Love you guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.